Hi everyone, welcome to the LeMay Studio. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to create this really easy macrame piece. It'll require you to know four different types of knots. More information on this piece will be down in the description box below. All right, now let's get started. For our center piece, start by cutting out eight 72 inch pieces of macrame cord and adding them to the wooden dowel using the Lark's head knot. For our first pattern with square knots, we'll follow a number pattern of 434321. Each number signifies the number of square knots in each row. In the first row, we have four square knots. Start with the first four chords on the left to create the square knot, and the next four chords, and follow this till the end of the row. In the next row, we have three square knots. For this, leave the first two chords and work with the next four chords and follow the pattern until you have three square knots. You'll also notice in this row, there are two chords left at the end. Follow the same pattern of rows 1 and 2 with the next two rows. For our fifth row, skip the first four chords and create two square knots. For our sixth row, skip the first six chords and create a single square knot. Using the leftmost chord as the anchor chord, create a diagonal pattern using the double half hitch knot. Now, once you reach the middle, repeat this pattern on the other side.
The next step is going to be repeating the same diagonal pattern twice. For the small curtain section, we'll use a 34 inch macrame cord. Have both the ends of the cord added to the dowel using a Lark's head knot. For the fringe, cut out 30 pieces of 37 inch macrame cords and add them to the hanging macrame cord using a Lark's head knot. For the first spiral pattern, which will be on either sides of the center section, we'll be using two 78 inch macrame cord. This pattern is created using the half square knot. The length of the spiral pattern should be half of the fringe section. Using the same length and pattern, let's create the same pattern on the right side of the fringe.
For the larger curtain section, we'll use a 46 inch macrame cord. And for the fringe, we'll use 46 pieces of 34 inch macrame cord. This pattern is the same as the small curtain in the center section. For the last spiral pattern, we'll use two pieces of 93 inch macrame cord. Just as this previous spiral pattern created, this one also uses half square knots. Once the right side is complete, repeat the same pattern on the left side. For the last step, take all spiral patterns and assume each spiral pattern to be a single cord and create a square knot. To clean up this entire macrame piece, cut the ends of the fringe to your liking. Here I cut it into a simple curve. Thank you so much for watching.